Hello, Max. Hello. How are you? Doing well. Okay, doing well too. <laughs> It's a beautiful day in Chicago. Of course, I'm very happy to come down to Chicago for to see you. And we're happy to have you. Where are you now? Right now, I'm at Stage Five Trading's headquarters. Okay, is your desk? This is not my desk, but the desk is right across, right, around, right over this wall. Is your headquarters? It is. Of course. Okay, you're working for Stage Five, no? Correct. Okay, what is Stash Stash Five? Stage Five Trading is a boutique brokerage firm. We specialize on helping traders as best as our ability. We offer access to commodities, to uh, other markets that we'll talk about later, and uh, we're here to help. Okay, keep that for after. Okay, we develop after you. <laughs> okay, thanks. Hello, Jan. Hello. How are, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Doing too well too. <laughs> Happy to see you. Happy to see you. Happy to have you. Okay, you're working for Stash Five too. Yes. Okay, what do you do? I'm a broker here at Stage Five. Okay, you are in relation with your clients. Yes. Okay. Okay, Max. And for you, what Stage Five? The story of Stage Five. What is it? Stage Five. We started in 2011. I was actually the first hire here, and uh, Congratu been... congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I've been here since 2012. Uh, we're here to, you know, help traders the best we can. We are. They're our partners, essentially. It's what we consider them, just like you. We're we're all partners in this industry, and we're here to help one another. Okay. And the specialty of Stash Five, what is it? We specialize in futures, commodities. Uh, we have a lot of retail traders and professionals. Okay, Jan. Can you develop, please, for the commodities? Which commodities uh, uh, you work? So we have access to energies, uh, including crude oil, Arbob. The are crude oil. Crude oil, crude oil, and we have access to metals, so gold, silver, uh, copper, all of the metals basically. We also have access to agricultural products, so corn, wheat, soybeans, soybean oil, uh, all of the agriculturals. We also have uh, currency products as well, so futures on forex products are quite popular actually, and we have those, and then we have equity index futures. Sure, 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 I'm sure. Uh, do you know how many products you have in your catalog for the assets? Oh, we have hundreds of products in terms of assets. Um, anything really that is trading with the CME uh, or on URX or on ICE, we have access to. Uh, Max, another question. Yes. What is the difference of the, I think for the currencies, the Forex and the foreign exchange uh, down the future for you? That's what is better? Yeah, well, I personally like futures. Uh, it's a regulated market. It's regulated by the CME. Uh, it's a centralized market. Traders are basically trading against someone else. They're trading someone. It's like a game. They're going against each other. They're trying to find the price until they match and then sell. The force is equivalence. It's not. It's not the professional like the the, the particular. It the particular particular professional professional. But the market, the price, it's regulated. It's regulated. Yes. It's It for that regulates itself. Yeah. It's for that. That's better. Yep. In my opinion, that's better. Thank you, Max. Jan. Yes. I have another question. Um, if I want to open accounts uh, in Stage Five, what is the minimum deposit? So, with the new micro indices coming out, you could actually open an account with as little as a thousand dollars to fifteen hundred. So, we feel it's very accessible. Uh, that I think is a good starting point if you are looking for those smaller products. If you want to trade something larger, I would start with two thousand or more. A minimum. Correct. Okay. If I want to trade the contract, all contract, not micro contract, but contract two, what is the minimum deposit? Two thousand for if you want to trade all of the contracts. It's, it's the same. Yes. But with this amount, that's impossible to trade all products. That's true. Some products do have higher margin requirements. Some of the larger products, we can't offer margins that low to be able to trade them. So if you're interested in trading something larger like the DAX or a big product with $2,000, you wouldn't really be able to so, trade that. Yeah, And I don't think you would want to either, given the risk involved in that product. And what is your recommendation? For that product, I personally would recommend funding with at least ten thousand. Personally, now you could open the account with less than that amount, but that's what I would recommend. Okay, that's correct. That's that's no more. This is the amount, no more accounts. Correct. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, uh, if I speak to you from the leverage, mm -hmm. what is your leverage in stage five? Uh, it depends on a contract. It's a case by case basis based on the for the, for the DAX example. Uh, for the DAX, we look at something around 25 to 50 percent of the initial margin. Uh, so something around that level, we'd be able to offer. So the current margin, I believe, don't quote me on it, is about 21,000 euro. So we would take 25 to 50% of that number. It's the same match for all clients? It depends. It's a case-by-case -case basis. We like to work with the trader, finding a margin that works best for the trader because our goal in at Stage 5 is to try to keep our traders with Stage 5 long enough to deter for them to determine by themselves if this is what they want to do, if okay. they want to be in this industry. And for you, that's very important to take a contact with you after you open a account for, for to, to discuss to, to what is uh, the condition, what is the better condition for your clients, and after what is the margin minimum um, per products, uh, you, you think well. Absolutely. We could do this via phone, email. We have a chat feature on our website. You, we could work with the trader that way to determine what is best for that specific trader, their circumstances, their risk, and what they're trying to do. Okay. Our clients have a possibility to contact you directly? Yes, they do. They can call me. They could email me. I have my own personal number. We have a toll-free number. I have a... I have the business card chat room. <laughs> and we have a uh, chat feature on our website that they could reach out to us, which actually is great because it automatically translates to French. French too? Yeah, French. You, you speak French? I do not. Really? <laughs> I, took, I took two years of French in high school and school. Okay. I know, je m'appelle Max. Je m'appelle Max. That's it? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If I am your professor, I'm sure you <laughs> I have a bad news for you. Okay, thank you, Max. Jan. Yes. I have a personal question for you. Okay. Uh, for you, what is better? The mini contract or full contract? What is better? The full contract is better than mini contract or other? For me personally, I trade the mini. Um, I feel it is more accessible to me. Now, if you have the funds to trade the full size, I think, you know, given the tick value and the higher leverage, uh, there's a lot more opportunity there, but it's less accessible for some people. It's not for the style for the trading, it's only for the dep minimum deposit for the month when you arrive at 2000, when, when you said before. Uh, that's better for the mini contract now. I would say so, yes. And for me personally, a small account, I trade the mini contract. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, I have an, another question for you. Um, how you choice for the execution feed? So the execution feed is actually billed from the account by the data provider or the execution provider. So it's direct from your trading account. And you pay for that? The trader pays for that. You trying to pay for that, okay. Your clients? Our clients, yes. Have you an example for the price? Yeah, so if you're connecting, say, TradingView with the CQG uh, data provider or execution feed, it's $10 a month. Per, per asset? Per, that's for yes. the connection to the TradingView CQG. And then you have your market data cost, which if you want access to our full CME range, so CME, CBOT, COMEX, and right. NYMEX, So that CME bundle is $21 a month. Okay, the big package. Yep, that would be the package of all four of the CME exchanges. The Stash 5 offer include the, the fee or not? It doesn't include it, but it does include Max Migrate service. So that's a plus there. It's, it's very expensive, no? It is not very expensive. You'd be paying about $31 a month if you connect TradingView to the CQG execution feed with all of the CME data. You prefer TradingView like the um, Sierra chart? I like both of them. Personally, I've used TradingView for my charting for a long time. So I like TradingView better personally, but Sierra charts is a very good platform as well. That's a good idea. Yeah, of course. Okay, Max, uh, can you explain what is this platform? Is your trade platform? Absolutely. This okay. is, we got Sierra chart on the left. For the graph. For the graph. Okay. Uh, you know, we could just simply place a quick trade, open up uh, Trading Dome. All okay. right. Open up Trading you Dome. Select the assets. Uh huh. Select the assets. So in this case, I'm opening up the ES. This is uh, a contract. Yep. Okay. The E mini, SP. Here we go. Okay. 
So right here, this is where the markets are trading. So right now we're at 28.13 spot 25 by 28.13 spot 50. So I'm going to buy one at 28.13. It's going to give me a uh, confirmation. Okay. Click yes. There it is. And it even shows up right on the chart. And that was immediately the line on the chart chart Absolutely. software? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. You could drag it down and this will move down as well. Okay. And on the right, we have this. This is an analytical software that we're offering your traders for free. It's different. Totally different. It's only for economic analysis yep. with the Stash 5 platform is by internet, no? Yeah. Yep. Yep. By internet. It's cloud based. Uh, we're offering it to your traders for free. Uh, we developed it. And traders get to analyze their historical data dynamically. So they got the days of the week performance. So that as you can see, this trader himself makes a pretty good uh, Friday. He goes into the weekend uh, very happy. Uh, you could tell uh, that his average time in his trade for a loser is one hour. And his average time in a winner is it's one hour 44. It's your performance for analysis. Your performance. It's a performance, yes. Here, it's only for the performance of the asset and other for you. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. It helps me as a broker talk to the trader, help them as best as I can. So if you're in, so if your average time in a loser is, is significantly higher than an average time in your gain, what does that tell me? It says this trader is holding on to his winners too long. He's fighting the market. Okay. Versus, versus, versus holding on to his winners longer. Yeah. He's too scared of losing those profits, but he's too, it's too hard for him to let go. Okay, okay, okay. It's very good. Okay, explain <laughs> right quickly, please, mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, the stuff, this stuff. Mm -hmm. How do you read that? So I, I, all the trades that this trader specifically traded is down here. So it, once you exit a trade, it shows up in our trade analyzer, and then it, it then it. So this is your track record, no? This is the track record. It's like a, it's like a report. A report that they could traders can use, and essentially, they could use it as somewhat of a scoreboard to, to basically show the. Uh, you, have, you have the great curve. I know, I oh, know. Nice. You know what is it? The, the the good stuff for me, the better stuff mm -hmm. for me. This one. Yes. The equity curve. The equity curve. Equity curve with the with the accumulation of uh, uh, win lose, and uh, normally the curve of equity curve mm -hmm. is progressive. Yep, absolutely. If your curve is progressive, mm -hmm. you have the good trader. If yep. this is erratic, you have the bad trader. Mm -hmm. Oh, you, and you know what I was thinking? About? A resume. Yeah. A resume yeah. for their trading yeah. is what and they can use it for. That's very important. It's free. You say it's free. It's free. Free for your traders. Of course. That's my gift to you. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um, if I want to open a account on Stash 5, what is the first step? Well, the first step would be contacting contacting your personal broker, which is Max and Ian, and we and we would then send an account application. Uh, if they want to try, if they want to test out a trial of the platform of their choice, we could send them that. And then the first thing. Do, do you have an example for that? Uh, yeah, so we could do a two-week free trial of, say, Sierra Charts, or a two-week free trial of TradingView. Uh, and then once they're finished with that, they determine what platform is right for them. They can fill out an online account application. It takes about five or ten minutes to complete. Name, last name, address. And then once they're finished with that, our new accounts team will review that process, that account application. Let us know if there's anything else needed. If there's nothing else needed, then we're good. Accounts funded, and we send funding instructions. Okay, that's very easy. Uh, our procedure is on the website. Yep, it's on the website. We could uh, we have it on your trading app we have uh you, they can contact ian and i personally via you know like i said before the chat email and we could send the application link as well okay that's cool max luke the last question i'm excited <laughs> <laughs> me too <laughs> okay one question for my clients uh for open account and with Tash five is it necessary to open account with a retail bank american bank or not it is not you can fund from your local bank in europe asia wherever you're located we could set you could send an international wire transfer for you it's the same same okay that's it thank you thank you thank you Jan. thank you Luke. Là, je vais vous le faire en français. J'ai la chance, effectivement, d'être avec le patron de Stage 5. That's very kind of you to receive on your desk, Anthony. Say, wait, wait, what was that? <laughs> I, I, I didn't understand. Hello, trader. Je suis très content d'être dans les bureaux de Stage 5. Et à côté de moi, j'ai le big boss. 
that's very kind of you to uh, receive the Trade Alert team. You understand what I mean? Yeah, as well. As Anthony? We're, we're, we're really happy to have you guys here. Who are you for Stage 5? Uh, managing partner, co-founder, managing partner, uh, part of the, the original team that, that brought it all here. Yeah. You love trade outlets too or not? Of course. It's it's all about the trading. It's all about each individual trader. So working with partners like yourself is something that we strive to do because we're out there trying to help each each individual. Et, et il me ressemble parce qu'il est plein d'énergie, il a plein de choses à vous proposer, on est chez des gens bien. Là on part, on va croquer un bout et on part et on va directement au Cibioté. A tout de suite.